What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jared Anderson. Bob Arum, get this. Bob Arum prepares to rebuild Jared Anderson's career after the massacre that he took from Martin McCauley in the fight that he says it wasn't his idea to make. Bob Arum said, and I'm paraphrasing, he said that we did not want the fight for Jared Anderson. It wasn't us. It wasn't our, our matchmaking. It was Turkey Alashik waving money around the kid that he never seen before offering a proposal for a fight against a guy that couldn't move well, but was a tremendous puncher, which Jared Anderson has never seen before. Okay, so he says, I'm not surprised that he got beat. However, we made our money and yet we made or we let the fight go ahead. Now it's time to rebuild and that's what happens when uh, you offer someone something that they never had to do something they never done. And let me counter punch. Um, he only has one loss. And I think what Bob's trying to do, like uh, I hinted in another video, that he's not trying to take responsibility for what he did. I think he should. You know, I think he should take responsibility for allowing that fight to go ahead. You know why? Because Bob Arum was attempting to make another American champion out of Jared uh, Big Baby Anderson, right? So in doing that, you have to be very tedious on the matchmaking. You have to know exactly what you're doing. And doing what he did is just like everybody else did, pretty much. Go ahead, see the money, get tempted, allow the fight to happen. It doesn't go your way, obviously, and now you're trying to blame someone else. No, you blame yourself as a promoter. You guys hear all that um, thrashing and bashing that Oscar De La Hoya is doing to Eddie Hearn. He's doing that because he feels that Eddie Hearn's not a good matchmaker. That's why he says he's not a good promoter. Okay, which that shouldn't be the truth because Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois and Canelo versus Bivol, those type of fights should happen. You know, that's just a fighter challenging, challenging himself that is already at a certain level. Jared Anderson was not. Okay, he was not at that level. He was at a level that he was a contender, but he wasn't a top contender like people tried to make him be. Okay. Just a year and a half ago, he was trying to fight guys like Frank Sanchez, and Frank Sanchez was a couple steps ahead of him, you know, up the rankings. So that's just like them pushing him along to be higher than he actually really is, and it was based off of money. Like Bob Arum said, people, that we made the money off of that particular fight because Bob Arum got a cut of that money, that proposal, that offer that Jared Anderson received for taking that fight with Martin Bacalli. Okay, so you got to keep that in mind. And I don't really like the whole idea of Bob saying, well, we let it go ahead, but it wasn't us. It was you. If you allow something to happen, that's what's going to happen. If you don't allow it, it won't happen. You know what I mean? Now, it could have caused something else. You know what I mean? In hindsight, if he would have decided, no, I don't want that fight for you. You know what I mean? But the thing is, you then won't be responsible like he really is now for Jared Anderson getting beat like that. See, if Bob Arum said, I don't like that fight for Jared Anderson, but if he wants to take it, oh well. We didn't hear no such thing. See, what I'm sick of is all this uh, after the fact shit. You guys understand? See, because now everyone's saying, oh, you know, I didn't want it. Well, you didn't say that then, or matter of fact, better yet, we didn't hear you say that then, right? We just hear it now after the fight said and done and it didn't go the way it's supposed to or you hoped it to, right? So that's what it was about, basically. Things not going your way and then you realize why it didn't and now you don't want to be at fault. But the rebuild process should be easy. All they really have to do with top rank is to make better fights for Jared Anderson, not necessarily easier ones, more even ones for Jared Anderson. And maybe in a few years, he can try to take on Bacali again because Bacali's only, what, 31, 32? I think he just turned 32. 
So yeah, those fights should have been for Jared later on, not this year. So yeah, can he rebuild? Of course, he only has one loss. Did he take a beating? I mean, he, you know, he, he did take a thrashing there, you know what I mean? But I don't think it was career ending. I don't think it was bad. I don't think, you know, it could have been worse if they would have kept it going. I'm glad the referee, shout out to the referee there, um, didn't allow that to happen. You know what I'm saying? I think the, the, the corner threw in the tile anyway, because I mean, we've seen enough, you know, he, he's done. Right. But no, I think he can rebuild Jared Anderson. I think he has to make or not make the mistake of falling for money like Jared Anderson did. But you guys tell me what you think of Bob Aaron hoping, trying, attempting to rebuild Jared Anderson in his career. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.